Hey y'all, it's Laura, and I'm back with a 12 by 12 layout using Coco Vanilla's new Sunkissed collection. Now I have a five by seven photo today of my second oldest child, and we're going to use a tried and true design. It is creating an L shape. So to do this, we're going to be cutting a few different papers into strips, and then we're going to weave them together at the corner. So I've chosen the floral, this beautiful teal and the rainbow paper. I love using strips of this rainbow paper because it opens up the color scheme of the layout and gives you a wide array of options to embellish with. So at first I thought I was going to use this blue as the background, but I really felt like my photo was getting a bit lost and the papers weren't really popping off the background the way I was hoping they would. So instead I decided to use that blue as a border and then I'll cut down this 12 by 12 white cardstock to fit inside of the blue paper. I will also gut the inside of the blue paper with my paper trimmer so that I don't waste that paper just hidden back behind this white cardstock. I will use it for another layout. But see how much of a difference this makes and how the patterns on these paper strips really pop off of the white background when they really didn't, at least to my eye, off of the blue. Now one of the things that I noticed right away was that the floral paper being a bit busier of a pattern and not a uniform pattern, so it's a little bit different uh, across the strip, it's not the same general shape across the strip, it's very different, I decided to tuck it behind the photo. So you get little peaks of it on the side, but it doesn't take over the entire layout. Now here's how I'm going to go ahead and gut the background so that I'm not wasting all this gorgeous blue hiding behind my white cardstock. I'm just gonna use my trimmer to cut out the center and then I will add double-sided tape on the perimeter of my white cardstock and tape it down on top of this border. Of course, I will cut off a little bit on two edges of the white cardstock so it's slightly smaller and some of that beautiful blue will show through. I think this blue really helps to draw attention to my photo because not only is my child wearing a blue top, but those lovely blue eyes will stand out as well. So I'm adding these strips along the left side first in the vertical, and then I'll bring in the other set of strips and do a horizontal. So there's my L, and by putting them slightly up, it gives me a little bit of white space at the bottom, and I really liked that open area. And I do try to fill it, but then decide, no, I'm gonna leave it open. I'm gonna let it breathe a little bit at the bottom. So now that I've got everything all taped down, I'm ready to start embellishing. So my photo is gonna sit just here at the apex of the corner, and I am going to mat it on this beautiful, rich wood grain paper, which I absolutely adore, and feel like adds a nice bit of warmth to the background. There are a lot of cool colors, not only in the photo, but also in these papers. And this kind of warms up the whole layout for me and helps to draw the eye into the photo, which of course is my focal point and typically is for most of my layouts. Now, the title I wanted to use here, I really wanted red. I'm not aware that Coco Manila has any red alphas, and so I decided to reach in my stash and grab these Bella Boulevard ones, and the title I'm going to create is Call Me Charlie, because recently she has decided she wants to be called Charlie, and I'm okay with that. It's a cute nickname, and it's fairly close to her original name, but I think we all kind of go through these points in our lives where we feel like maybe our name doesn't quite fit. And as a child, I wish I could have been so open and comfortable with my parents to say, I don't like this name, I want to be known as Lola or as something like that, a nickname. And there's lots of kids who go by Joey instead of Joseph and Don instead of Donald, things like that. So it, I really don't mind that she wants to be called Charlie. And I thought it was kind of cool to document this in her album and to just talk about the changes that my kids go through in time. Is this going to be a phase? I don't know. Might be. There are plenty of grown people who don't go by their legal names. And so I thought this is a very special moment. She's made a big decision about how she wants to be identified and I think we should document it. So I decided to go ahead and put it in the album. And this beautiful collection just fit 
perfectly. I felt like this is the collection that is so bold and beautiful and proud. And I think that's where she is too. She's, she's figured out who she is and she's comfortable with who she is. And I love that. So we're going to go ahead and embellish mostly in this bottom left corner where the two sets of strips meet. And I have a beautiful floral cluster that I have fussy cut from the pattern paper that I've used in the background on some of these, but I did fussy cut out some of the florals, adding some banners at the top right and the top left, just for a little bit of fun to kind of dress up the page a little bit. And I'm gonna lean in heavily on these cardstock stickers for this layout. I'm first gonna bring in a word phrase and just kind of tuck it in here underneath of the rainbow. So again, I'm creating this little bit of a trifecta of embellishing, a small embellishment at the top left, small embellishment at the top right, and then a larger embellishment close to the photo to help draw your eye into the photo first. I will add a little tab at the top, again adding to that top left cluster there. Swapped out the banners for a pink one because I thought it showed up a little bit better on those three strips. And then of course some clear stickers because lately I can't get enough of these. I absolutely love the mixed media looking ones especially, and I end up using several on this layout. So I'm gonna tuck one in here underneath of the rainbow, just kind of give it a little place to sit. I'm going to tuck another one up by the little tab at the top, and eventually we'll add a third out to the right of my title. I really enjoy using these kind of clear stickers tucked behind my clusters. I think it makes it look like you've added some mixed media without actually having to get messy because I always decide, oh, you know, it'd be a great place for mixed media right here where I've already glued things down. <laughs> I can't be the only one who does this. But of course, it's a little late now to add mixed media in that spot. I had a little arrow pointing to Charlie because of course I want to accentuate that part of the title and I decided to use this journaling card to cut up some journaling spots. I want to do a little bit different sort of a journaling area and I had thought to put it at the bottom here but I end up moving it up to the right of Charlie because again I want to bring the eye to that center part of the layout where the photo and the title are. These are going to be cut up into little, they look like little paint swatches onto a pink background. And eventually I'm going to trim them down to the paint swatch shape exactly and just line them up on that right side so that I can add a little bit of information about what's going on with her and why she chose this name because she did talk to us about it and uh, just what I think about her beautiful new name choice. Personally, I think Charlie fits her beautifully. It's a very playful and happy name, and that certainly fits the personality of my daughter. So I'm quite fine with her name choice. Personally, growing up, I would have loved to go by Lola, but I didn't think anybody would actually call me that, so I never bothered to ask them to. And I love that my child feels comfortable to approach us with the subject and say, you know what, I'd really like to go by Charlie. And we respect that. We respect that choice for her. Now, I did want to put a little bit more of these mixed media stickers over here, so I grabbed this longer one, and it's just going to peek out from behind these journaling strips, which is what I wanted. I just wanted a little touch of a mixed media look behind them to kind of connect them together, and I think it's kind of fun. It's a different way of doing journaling than I normally do, and I thought it was a fun little experiment that turned out kind of cute. Now I'm using these little puppy hearts all around the page for my scattering, which is the fine details that I add to every single layout as I'm finishing it up. I call this scattering and splattering. So I add these tiny little embellishments around each of my clusters, and then I come in with some Nuvo drops and some ink spray in gold and splatter around as well. The purpose of the ink spray splattering is to fill in some of the empty white space and to accentuate my clusters. So I did decide to go back to the cardstock stickers for a couple of these word phrases, and I just trimmed them down so that they're not too stand out on this floral cluster. And I thought they just added a nice detail here and kind of shared my my thoughts with her. I thought they fit quite nicely. Added some Nouveau around my clusters as well as inside the two larger florals. And then I just sort of dot it like you would use enamel dots around each of my smaller clusters as well. And then I did decide to go ahead and outline each of these strips 
because they needed to pop off of the page just a little bit more. It gives them a bit of definition and a shadow, and I really like the way this looks. I think it made a big difference in person anyway, and you may be able to see it in the photos at the end. I made a small error though when I was creating my line, and so I did kind of do a faux stitching scratch out onto it, and I don't mind the look of it. I think it looks intentional, even though it really wasn't. And then I'll come in with my ink spray to splatter around the clusters and into the white space to the right. That's it for this layout. Stay tuned for the still photos, and be sure to check out the blog post at cocovanilla.com.au for more details and to see the photos up close. Until next time, bye guys!